Hey, how's it going? This is Helmi from Balcony Hijau. In this video, I'm going to be showing you my second attempt to use Sokar and this time for a little bit of a longer trip to Malacca. And I'm getting the Mini Cooper JCW 5 door. It's kind of a, like a cool looking car, so I'm quite excited. So first, I'm going to show you my gear. That's my setup right now. This is a Sony ZV-1. It's a small camera. So here's the guy with the car. Please hit the picture of the key. You have not completed your before drive. Inspect now launch camera they need to take a selfie all right if there's any damage acknowledge that the car is in perfect condition you've got some scuffs on the wheel launch camera use photo okay can you see that ding right there okay so left quarter panel okay we got a little bit of ding there upload okay the roof is fine. Okay, got a bit of what is this? Okay. I think that's it. Okay, this wheel is fine. This wheel is a little bit scuffed, so we're gonna. Man, these are Pirelli tires. These are really expensive. I think we're good. Submit damage. Yes. Okay, now I can unlock the car. Unlock. Nice. Oh, start, stop. Nice. Okay, we are inside the car now. It looks quite nice. Very cramped interior at the back. Um, but I think a BMW's interior is much nicer. This thing seems a little bit plasticky. That is the fuel gauge. We're at half. That's good. So at least this so car doesn't smell like smoke like the last time I rented so car. But you got all the toggles here. Really nice, luxury. Oh, got a nice LED thingy. Nice, cool man, I'm loving this. All right, cool. All right, now I got the car all set up. I got my iPhone connected here, can play some music. Now I'm gonna go pick up my friend before we head over to the North South Highway and head down to Malacca. Okay, we are here at my friend's house. You know, I don't know what his problem is, but he's always late. Hey, shut up, Masuk. So that's the car. Let's take a look at how much it costs. So this is the Mini's website. Uh, the Mini John Cooper, I think it's this one. 383,000 ringgit. That is absolutely nuts. Okay, so this car has some special mode here. So let's take a look right now. It's the mid mode, the normal mode, typical mini driving. The right here is green mode, low consumption. Why would we do that? No, we're gonna go with the uh, maximum go-kart feel. Okay, that's cool. So 320 Newton meters of torque is the maximum. I think for Honda Civic 1.5, it's around 220, probably around there. But if you get a Mazda CX-5 2.5 liter turbo, it's actually go all the way up to 400. So it's even more than this. This car is 380,000 ringgit, I think. The Mazda 2 CX-5 is only 180,000. So I think the Mazda is more value for money. But obviously this is more go-kart feel. Ooh, maximum torque uh, at a very low RPM. Because it's a turbo charged car. So far I'm impressed with the drivability of this car. Uh, not so much in the interior. Interior is just okay. For a 380,000 ringgit car, I think I uh, spent a little bit more, but uh, this is definitely a driver's car. There we go. There we go. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna press on the gas. Here we go, look at the Newton meter. Maximum torque, 320 Newton meters. Woo! Look, 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 fun. Okay. Ooh, you can hear the, the sound pop on the exhaust. Now we're driving speed limit. All right, now we're on the north-south highway. We are driving sensibly all the way uh, to Malacca. We'll be there in about an hour. Look, we're driving 100 kilometers an hour, totally speed legal. 
See, even this uh, ugly ass car is uh, passing me right now. Okay, so a little review of this car. The condition of this car is way better than the first time I got the Mazda 2. I think it's in a lot of uh, better mechanical shape. However, I feel like the alignment again is slightly off me because if I take my hands off the wheel, the car will go to the left. Look, 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 look. we're going to the left. Whoa! Oh. See? Okay, I'm going to do that again. I'm going to let go of the wheel and okay. you see the car is turning to the left. Uh, okay, 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 okay. See? So these are the kind of stuff that I think so car needs to uh, make sure that the car is in good condition. Like this pillar right here, I think it's a little too forward compared to the regular car. So it's it's uh, in my blind spot. I want to overtake the, there's a lorry in front. I want to change lanes. And I can't really see if anything is in this blind spot, so I have to do this. Okay, go clear. So I don't have to do that in uh, in like a Honda Civic or a Miami or something. So it's a design thing that affects uh, me as a driver. Okay, there's a bunch of modes here. So like on the left, we're going to go into maximum go-kart feel. Check it out, sport mode. So then if I click this button, it will show the amount of torque that we are using. Maximum 320. Okay, so uh, let's try that out right now. <laughs> oh, we can hear the exhaust. <laughs> okay. Alright, here's another tip for you guys. So if you're on a road trip like I am, I made a blog post here for you to figure out where is the next AES speed trap location. On oh, the left side, you, you can see that there's numbers here. 257, that's the number of kilometers, the location that we are. Can you look at the schedule and see which one is the next, the closest number to 257? Yeah, this 214. Okay, so we have about 40 kilometers away from the next speed trap. And that is in where? Where is that? It's in Alur Gajah. Alur Gajah, Malacca. We're driving very sensibly all the way here. It's about 100 kilometers an hour right now. Being a very good boy. Hmm, bro, I was wondering, do you think Soka sanitized this car before giving it to you? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, it doesn't feel like it's sanitized, but I could be wrong. So if it is, uh, Soka, please leave a comment down below. Hey man, woo! Go cut, feel! Pop, 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 pop. Nice. It's a really nice car, uh, really fun. Okay, now we just uh, exit the Malacca Toll. We're gonna go to, what is that thing that we're gonna eat? Asam Pedas. Asam Pedas, yeah. <laughs> I'm not really a big fan of Asam Pedas, but since we're here, uh, we're just gonna try it out. Whoa, it's a big place, huh? We are, we're supposed to eat here for lunch, but take a look at this line. And uh, I don't know if you know me, but I don't like the queue. So we're not gonna go eat here. But I'm pretty sure it's good, because we got that much. Uh, Oh my god, look at the crowd. We're gonna go to the botanical gardens first. We're not that hungry, so we'll jalan jalan a bit and then we'll figure out what to do next. Sorry, the left mirror automatically should go down so I can see the curb. See that? I can see where the left rear tire is so it doesn't hit the curb and I can see I'm within the line. Really smart. So if I put the gear back to parking, it will return back to normal. I wish my Myvi had this feature. Okay, this is how you lock the car. So it needs to have this key. If, if this button doesn't exist, you have to close the app and reopen it again. Okay, so click here. Ah, okay, so you're supposed to hit this to lock the car. Okay, there you go, the thing went down. We're good. Okay, here we are at the uh, Malacca Botanical Gardens. We decided to swing by a little bit before our lunch. Do you see this? This is some National Geographic stuff. I am shooting on Zool's A6400 with a really nice 1.4 liter lens. You can see the beautiful background blur in the Malacca Botanical Gardens. Really nice, but it's hella heavy. Look at this. I'm not gonna carry this around, no way. I would rather be carrying that around. So we Googled a bunch of place, Peranakan restaurant to eat. It looks like a lot of them is in the Jonker Street area. So we're just gonna drive there, park somewhere, and we'll figure it out on foot. So we're gonna look for the cheapest option available because two of us are a bunch of cheap <laughs> Even though we drive really nice, JCW Mini Cooper, <laughs> we don't have the budget for this production to go eat at fancy restaurants. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. Okay, listen to this car starting up. Oh, 
Okay, this is the Jonker 88. This is what we're supposed to eat Peranakan food, but I don't think so. As you know, we don't like to queue. Queuing is for peasants, not for the Mini Cooper crowd. <laughs> Oh man, it's hella hot here. Some parts of the roads are really, really empty, like you see right now. It's really charming, I like it. Okay, we are at the uh, Jonker Street. It's very, very busy. We're just gonna find a, rest a random restaurant to eat that's not too busy. But this is really cool. That's the Jonker Walk. I think there's gonna be a Pasa Malam here, around here, I think, at night. It's really cool H&M. Ooh! Shooting raw. Alright, so we're about to move to the next place. Taking a look at the number of cafes that's around here. It's crazy. We're just gonna pick one. So here we are just chilling at one of the cafes before we continue with our journey. We're enjoying some overly sweet coffee, some pan au chocolat that I finished already. We were just talking about this guy. He's a music coordinator. What kind of music? What kind of music? Uh, mostly jazz. Okay. So if you have a live event that you need live jazz performance, you can uh, hit this guy up. I'm going to leave his uh, contact in the description below. All right. So we're gonna head back because the heat is killing us. We bought that soya over there. And now we're gonna try and open the door again. So car, Bluetooth did not connect. Okay, let me try. Bluetooth did not connect. Ensure location service is turned on. It is. Okay, we're launching it again. And I can't unlock the car for some reason. What do I do? I've restarted the app many times already. One more time, this is the third time I think. Can't open the car. What are we gonna do? Should I move here, closer to the bonnet of the car? Nothing. <laughs> okay, I restarted my phone already. Yes, and I still can't unlock the car. What do I do? What do I do? I'm close to the car. Near the car, reopen the smart key. Now we're sitting here doing this, everybody's looking at us funny. Like, think that we're trying to steal this car or something. <laughs> I can't unlock the car. Dude, what are we gonna do? Okay, we're gonna call the customer service. So let's uh, let's camp out here on the side. I can't unlock my soul car. Yeah, okay, so that did the trick. So basically you have to put the phone in airplane mode, not turn off all this stuff. Put it in airplane mode and, and everything should be okay. Unlock! Yes! Look at my face. Uh... Alright, we, so we're finally in the car. We're all sweaty. So there's the trick. If you have connection issue, switching off your data doesn't work. You have to put it in airplane mode. That's what you gotta do. Okay, so we are here at the moment. Uh, these are all the touristy areas. Really hot and so many people. So we decided we're not going to get chandol. I think it's quite impossible to have chandol without queuing in Melaka right now. There's a lot of models for the Mini. This particular model is the Mini Cooper S. It's also the Mini Cooper S JCW, which is the John Cooper Works, which is an even more sportier version. So over here, they have the JCW, the Mini Cooper S JCW, but it's only for the three-door, and that costs 311,000 ringgit. This one is the Mini Cooper S JCW 5 door. This vehicle is almost as expensive as my property. It's kind of crazy if you think about it. So anyways, apart from that, I think this whole so car thing is pretty interesting because uh, you can rent a car that's this high of a performance for relatively cheap compared to you actually owning it. So I think it's a, it's a, good, it's a good value in my opinion. Yeah, the app doesn't work sometimes, but I think if you want to enjoy driving a Mini for like a couple of days without actually owning it, kind of makes sense to rent the so car. The car is designed to be very uh, go-karty, so it's very dirty around the corner. It's not as comfortable as a family car, but it's not uncomfortable to the point that you can't make it into a daily driver. Hit the throttle, it will just rocket out of there. 
but I would imagine the maintenance would be very expensive for this car because I saw the tires are Pirelli. Okay, they sell on Shopee. It was an 18 inch. It's probably around 1,000 ringgit per piece. That's kind of crazy for like a tire. And I don't know how much it costs to, to service this car. The back seat space is, is non-existent. It really is not for a family. I think somebody who buys this to have another family car, a bigger fam proper family car, this is just a car to show off and have fun on the weekends. Apart from that, the interior is nothing special as well. It's not luxury. It doesn't scream like a 300,000 ringgit car. I expect a lot more. If I'm honest, the Mazda interior is much, much better than the Mini Cooper. But the performance, it's, it's pretty good. 320 something newton meters of torque, really, really good. Uh, it's quite addictive, yeah. All right, so that's my review of the Mini Cooper S. So we're gonna go to have our dinner at Pranakan restaurant soon. We are at this uh, Pranakan restaurant that is halal, that is open on Monday. Because all the tourists come in Saturday, Sunday, they all open Saturday, Sunday, but then a lot of them are closed on Monday and Tuesday, I think. You don't have to pay for parking on Monday and Tuesday. Chandol, we can order later. All right, this is it. This is our final meal before we head home. This is what it feels like at night. Surprisingly, really empty. So we're running a little bit late. It's almost 8. And uh, the guy's picking it up at my home at 10.30. So we have to turbo our way all the way back. Okay, this is our car. It's at night time. Hopefully, we don't have any issues. Okay, we can unlock. No problem. Nice. Ooh, automatic headlights. Love Ooh, look at this. Ooh. Nice touch. Oh, this is lovely. You got the light that goes down. Nice. One last time, I love this. Okay, look at this button. You can change the accent lighting. Blue. Purple. Really cool. And the whole place change as well. See? Really nice. 10.30 p.m. it's our time to return the car um, there was a bit of a connectivity issue with the app but we were solved by going to airplane mode and uh, there's the name for the guy who's gonna pick it up I called it on the app it was the same guy who delivered this morning but when I called him he said that oh I have another assignment somewhere else so he said that it's gonna be somebody else but I don't know who so might be a problem I'm on the customer live chat again to figure out who's gonna pick up the car all right it's the next day so after i chat with the customer service they say that oh you have successfully returned your car don't worry about it somebody's going to pick it up so it's, it's a little bit funny because i felt like i was more concerned of the car more than they were but before i went to bed the car was still there at the side of the road but in the morning when i checked it wasn't there anymore i guess somebody from socar picked it up already this video is my second experience renting with socar overall i had a really great time I knew the Mini Cooper was a fast car, but I didn't know that the model that I got, the John Cooper Works, was the fastest model that they have. So that was a very pleasant surprise. There was a little bit of a problem with the connectivity with the app, but if you're renting out SoCar and your app can't connect with the car to unlock your car, all you have to do is put it in airplane mode. And that solves the problem for me all the time. I think SoCar should put this in their website. All right, that's it for this video. I think in the future, I will plan out more trips with SoCar, and I'm looking forward for that. All right. See ya.